Okay, so now we're going to look at what these are right here. A lot of times I'm in different menus. Keep in mind, there, since you have these menus, these menus, these menus, and now a new set of menus that appear over here, I'm going to show you exactly what these are and how to switch between them. Okay, and what they mean corresponding to geometry, which you don't have one of these out here yet. So what I'm going to show you here is a quick and dirty way to, let's say, if if you did click on one of these polygons, what will happen is you'll have to magically draw it out. I, on the other hand, like to do this. Create polygon primitives and take off interactive creation. A lot of times with interactive creation off, you'll get geometry that makes more sense UV-wise. And I'll show you that later on. Just trust me, take off polygon primitives, interactive creation. Okay, now in here, let's just click on a polygon. Okay, polygonal cube. And if you use your wheel mouse, you can kind of zoom into it. I don't want to kind of go over navigation just yet. First off, I want to show you what these are. Right here, I have three channel boxes. Okay, The first channel box basically collapses in and out of full screen mode and the fact that the geometry has got, um, well, the geometry itself and where it's placed in the world, its shape node, and a bunch of other stuff like, well, if you tag down, you also can go over to the material of the object. This is probably the most used channel box right here. Okay. Here, I have um, something that would uh, correspond to the toolbar that you're on. Okay. So take, for example, over here, I have tools. Okay, if I go to my move tool, you can see that this one changes corresponding to the tool that I'm at. So scale has a much different tool setting than move. Be very careful about what you change within these uh, menus with the tools. If I go to change something like local, for example, and I'm not sure that I changed that or I'm just screwing around, Later on, you might not, you know, things might not correspond too good and you'll end up moving stuff wrong. So if you think that in some manner that you have changed these objects or these tools over here, you can always go over to Reset Tool. Okay. The last one is an all-around little tiny mini editor where you're allowed to go in and translate, rotate, scale, all upon a numeric system. And how it works is you can also go in here and click on Translate X, and I can middle mouse button click and drag in the viewport, and that will translate it just like that, in X only. Y, same thing. What's really nice about this is the scaling feature, because I can scale based upon X, Y, or Z, all using the middle mouse button. Of course, it's far easier to go over to the gizmo and do this, but sometimes you have to be very precise about things. And you know, if I want a like a 0.25 change on things, I can quickly highlight all three of these and type in 0.25. I can t also toggle its visibility. Also, each item has, let's say, for example, this cube. I just scale it up using the scale tool here. I also can go into its properties and it has like the width, height, depth, subdivision width, all can be changed by just highlighting these and middle mouse button click drag in your viewport. It allows you to add more resolution. Just be very careful because you don't want to add too many too much resolution, you know, unless you have a fast machine. So that's a very quick and dirty way to changing these attributes in here. Again, what's really nice is I'm not in any of the tools. Like even if I'm in the move tool, I can go in here and scale very quickly without worrying about going over to the tool each time. Okay. 
So I'm a big number guy sometimes, especially with the rotate 90s and 45s in every axis. Know this menu very well and know this menu very well and you'll be a happy camper within Maya.